I'm really excited to show you guys how to knit my All the Vines cowl. The pattern has the cowl written for three different yarn weights. I've got a super bulky weight version knit with We Are Knitters the wool. I've got a bulky version knit with We Are Knitters the petite wool. And I've got a light worsted weight version knit on Patton's Classic Wool. You can grab the pattern by visiting the link in the video description, or I've got it linked up here. And it'll give you all the information on the needle size and the different yarns and the gauge. So feel free to grab that pattern on Etsy or Ravelry and join along with me as I knit the cowl. Once you download the pattern, you can make a gauge swatch. I've provided how to knit the vine lace stitch flat. You can make a flat swatch of the work in the yarn weight you would like. And a swatch is just a small sample of the work so you can see how big or small your gauge is and you can figure out if you want to go up a needle size if your gauge is too small and you can go down a needle size if your gauge is too large just know that for making cowls you know if your gauge is off a tiny bit it won't make that much of a difference um, you know because cowls aren't cowls are a little more forgiving than something like a sweater that needs to fit um, you pretty accurately so just keep that in mind you're going to start by casting on the number of stitches your pattern calls for so I am knitting with the super bulky weight yarn but the same concept applies to each of the different yarn weights so I'm gonna make a slip knot and place the yarn on my needle I'm gonna make sure I have my tail in front and I'm gonna cast on the number of stitches I'm supposed to cast on that the pattern calls for. And I am just going to grab the yarn, wrap it around my thumb and index finger, go under the yarn, around my thumb, over the yarn, around my index finger, and pull through. So that's how we cast on with the long tail cast on method. So you just continue till you have the number of stitches cast on that you're supposed to have for the cowl. I have casted on the number of stitches I'm supposed to cast on and now I'm going to cast on one extra stitch to join the work in the round. This is one method you can use to join the work in the round. So to join in the round you're going to slip the first stitch on the left hand needle over to the right hand needle, slip the stitch that was the last stitch on the right hand needle over that stitch you just moved over and then you're going to drop that stitch and pull the work tight. I'm going to place my stitch marker on and now I'm going to start knitting my one by one rib and to knit one by one rib you simply knit one stitch, bring the yarn in front and purl one stitch, knit one, purl one. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Knit one, purl one. You have an even number of stitches you've cast on, so if you start with a knit stitch, you should end with a purl stitch. You can see my knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. And when you get to that beginning of round marker, finish with my purl stitch, you slip the stitch marker and continue knitting one, purling one. You knit the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches. And you can see the one by one rib starting to come together now. So you're going to continue for the number of rounds your pattern calls for, for the size that you are making. I'm finishing my last round of ribbing up, I'm at my last stitch, I'm going to slip the stitch marker and now I'm being, going to begin the vine lace stitch in the round for the main body of the cowl. 
So to knit vine lace stitch in the round, we this is the round one. We're going to knit one and then we begin our repeat, which is a yarn over, knit two stitches, slip, slip, knit, slip, slip, knit these two stitches together. Then we knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. So that is the repeat. So we, re we um, keep repeating that over and over. So it's a yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit, knit two stitches together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. And so you keep repeating that stitch repeat in between the two in, in the asterisk um, until you get to the beginning of round marker. Yarn over, knit one. And so I am at the beginning of round marker again, so I am going to slip that stitch marker in a round two is just simply you knit all the way across. So you knit those yarn overs carefully and you're just going to knit all of the way around making sure you carefully knit all the stitches, especially those yarn overs. So you just knit through those yarn overs all the way around. So I'm finishing up a round two and now I'm going to begin a round three. So one thing to uh, I wanted to explain about this stitch is basically the stitch repeat is the same. We're just shifting where that stitch repeats starts. So we are actually when we slip the stitch marker and beginning a round three, we're actually going to start with a yarn over and start with that repeat. So it's yarn over, knit two slip, slip, knit, knit two stitches together, knit two, yarn over, knit one. So you will repeat this all the way to the last stitch before the beginning of round marker. I'm finishing up my last stitch repeat and I should be left with one stitch at the end. So we're simply just going to knit that last stitch. We slip the stitch marker. Now we've completed a round three, so we're gonna start a round four. And a round four is just simply knit to the beginning of round marker. So you knit all the way around, making sure you knit those yarn overs carefully. I'm finishing up around four. And then when we finish with the round four, we're simply gonna go back to the round one in the vine lace stitch, which is the knit one yarn over. So you'll just continue repeating rounds one through four and you'll start to see the beautiful vine lace stitch pattern come together. So here's what the cowl is looking like after I've completed the four row repeat twice. So I've done eight rows of the vine lace stitch. So you can now start to see the, the stitch pattern start to come together. So you're gonna continue vice, vine lace stitch 
in the round until you hit the length. That's what you're supposed to hit for the cowl size that you're making. Okay, I've finished the cowl to the length it needs to be for my pattern that I'm knitting and you measure the length from the cast on edge. We still have our ribbing to do, so if you alter the length, just make sure you take into account that you still need to complete the ribbing. And you need to complete the vine lace stitch after you've finished a round two or a round four, so that's after a knit round. So you wanna make sure you have a knit round complete before you start the ribbing. And then you're simply gonna just begin the knit one, purl one again. Knit one stitch, or purl one stitch for the number of rounds you're supposed to complete for the pattern. When you've completed the number of rounds you're supposed to complete for your ribbing on the top and it's time to bind off, we're gonna bind off in one by one rib and to bind off in one by one rib, you knit one, purl one, and then you're gonna slip that first stitch over the stitch we just knit, and you're gonna keep doing that. So it's knit one, slip that stitch over, purl one, slip this stitch over, and you can see we're starting to bind off in the rib pattern. So you just continue this all of the way around. And then I'll show you what to do once you get to the end. When you're nearing the end of the round as you're binding off and you have one stitch left, you'll work and bind off until you have one stitch left. Then you'll take a pair of scissors, leave a tail, cut the yarn. You will pull this last stitch through here. You'll take your tapestry needle and your yarn and you'll weave the yarn through your tapestry needle. And then you'll connect the work by taking your tapestry needle through one side of the work and weave it back around through here. And then you can weave your weave your tail in by following a leg of the stitch up Pulling this through, taking the yarn off out from the needle, and then snipping the tail. And then you'll just do that same thing on the other side. And now you've completed your beautiful vine lace cowl. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.